Henry Yakarundi, the innovator behind the innovative the entrepreneur from Rwanda. Le plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henri Nyakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henri Nyakarundi. Now, is it the end of employees as we know it, the, the, the way the word employees uh, as it stands today? You know, somebody's coming to work eight to five with benefits and all those things, and, and, and they grow, they work, they weigh up. I, I truly believe it, man. It's, tr it's, it's definitely going to be the end. This idea of hiring full-time employment, giving them benefits, uh, paying the social security thing, uh, trying to build the security around it. I mean, if I look at employment or employees uh, compared to the previous generation, I mean, my mom worked for 35 years at Ethiopian Airlines, for 35 years. Most of the people on the previous generation was working uh, 10, 20, 30 years. Their goal was to find a good company Usually, uh, there was no startup mentality back then. A strong company, a solid company, get in, work your way up, right, till retirement. Moving around was, was not something that, that people were doing back then. Entrepreneurship was very on a small level. As a matter of fact, I remember um, when, when, when I, I, I talked to the older generation, um, entrepreneurship is what you were doing when you were a failure in school. Right? They were looking at an entrepreneur, ah, this guy couldn't go to school, get a job, and then there was less competition, of course, because people that was graduate, there was still a, a huge demand for graduates. There was not enough graduates back then. But, but it has shifted. Everything has changed. This my generation, and definitely this new generation, uh, will, will feel it even more. You know, we're talking about this gig economy, but let me go back a little bit about talking about the previous generation. Today, uh, since I started my business, on average, an employee does what? Two, three years? Uh, of course, you're gonna, if you want to keep the top employees, you have to give them more. People are looking for more. They're just looking for more than just a job. People are looking for more than just uh, a nine to five. They look for an experience. They want to be part of something. Um, you know, now you have startups with this startup mentality across the world. You hire employees, so there's more risk because most startups fail. You know, most companies go down and, and close. So it's a risk for the employee. They say on average now, the amount of job you're going to get is between five to ten jobs in your lifetime. But we talk about gig economy. And I want to talk about this or share economy. You know, we have car sharing. Well, we have a place now we're sharing our place on, on our uh, Airbnb. We have all this, uh, this uh, new economy uh, happening, all these changes. And I truly believe now we're going to have a skill set, skill set sharing economy. Or, or you know, and, and that's how I call it, but in, where this idea of trying to lock someone into one job uh, for a period of time is done. It's over. Now you're going to have people trying to get special skill and serve those skills to multiple companies. And it's going to do a few things. I'm going to tell you why I believe that. It's going to do a few things. Number one, it will build security for that person because things change so fast now. Back then it didn't. You know, back then it was always the same company. Today, you can have a company five years later, that company is gone um, because competition came and took over. And, and you see it all the time. You know, com companies come and go. Technology is changing at a pace. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy, a little bit scary, but it's crazy, right? You know, technology is coming up at a pace where you have to stay, you know, on the edge, on the edge, on the edge. And because the, 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 the doing business is so complex. The ecosystem of a business is so complex, depending on what business you're doing. And then when you add scaling on top of that, it becomes even more complex. You have to develop a sharing skill set structure to minimize your cost, minimize your risk as a company, especially as a startup. 
you know, and, and, and I'll talk about um, building a modular business model. That's if you look, if you search on my vlog, you'll see it. Uh, but what I'm saying is as an employee, the idea of, of being stuck in one position is done. And I think companies now can come to a, a, a specialized skill sets group. So let's say, I'll give you a perfect example. I like to visualize things. It helps me understand better. Um, look at CFO position, right? Back then, it would be unheard of for a company not to have hired a CFO internally that works for that company and doing just that job. Now, you have what we call specialized CFO uh, companies. They, 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 comp they, they organization or companies with specialized financial accounting skill sets. So, you know, they have multiple people, one or two, and then they serve multiple companies. And because, you know, now you don't need somebody to be full-time for certain things. And if you need somebody full-time, you can just hire a company that specializes in the skill sets uh, you're doing. Uh, right? You can hire them part-time. You can hire them full-time. It lowers, as a business, it lowers your costs and taxes. It lowers your risk when your company goes down or lower, like on the COVID-19 stuff. Then you don't have to hire them. You pause, you tell them. And then for them, for that, I call the employee, but for that group, um, they have multiple customers. So if they lose 10, 20 customers, then, you know, they, they, they may have a few left. Uh, you know, an employee right now, if you lose your job, you lose everything. You only have one job, right? If you cut down your paycheck. So you see now people are trying to do, you know, multiple things at the same time. They work at a job here. They do some freelancing out there. And right now, the space hasn't been defined yet. But this is where it's going. Where we're going to have special group skill sets that fits a specific need or specialty. Technical, CFO. Raising capital, manufacturing, you know, so people are going to come together to build this group. And then what you're going to have is a cluster of groups you can plug in to move much, much faster for your business. So this is the shared skills economy that I truly believe is the future. And if you're a young man or woman today, you're about to graduate, you're about to come out of university, right? And you're looking for a job. Guess what? There's no job out there. There's very little jobs out there. Because for the, especially in Africa, we have four to five times more graduates than availability of jobs out there, right? So you have to remove that mindset of, of our, our, our previous, uh, uh, the previous generation. Now, what you have to do, and that's my advice to you, what you have to do, right, is when you graduate, you need expertise. That's, that's the number one thing you need to do. And if you are smart, you'll get that expertise before you graduate. But if, if you can't or, you, you know, you, some people don't even know, oh, I didn't know I need, I didn't know. I remember graduating from college and I was looking for jobs and everybody was like, do you have, how many years expertise you have? Well, I don't have any. And, you know, but back then I was a little bit lost. So, um, so if, 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 if you, if you are um, a young graduate, you look for expertise. The first thing I would do is find a young company that has in, in, into the same space you're in. Or if you don't, organize yourself if you have that leader uh, capability. If you don't, find somebody who's trying to organize that in the space you want, and then you group yourself. You group yourself and you become the best, the best in that field. The best you can be. You, you absorb as much information as you can. And then now you start looking for jobs. Jobs for the company now. It'll do a lot more. It'll be much, much easier. You know, because now, as I said, companies ourselves, we're looking for that expertise. We don't want to hire all these skill sets ourselves. It's too expensive. You know, the only downfall I see with this, and, and that's what share economy has done, car sharing and all. I, I caught government, uh, you know, the government was not ready for all this. So, so they had to shift. I mean, we see what's going on with Uber. 
we see what's the problem with Uber where they can tax it, they're not employees and all. So government will lose big because the, the, the system of most, if not all government today, is not designed for this type of structure. It's designed for the old school where you hire full time, you pay this tax, that tax, that tax. And so they're going to have to redesign the ecosystem. But this is the future, guys. And I hope it makes sense. If you start up, look at specialty cluster that you can bring into your ecosystem. If you're a young graduate trying to build or be part of a cluster, good luck, man.